Good morning, people. How are you? It's a uh, pretty early morning here. We've got the uh, got the coffee going on already. But as you can see in the background, we've got the new car. I've got a set of springs and and struts and shockers that we're going to um, we're going to put in the 200. So um, yeah, pretty exciting day. This is going to be um, great for our travelling and everything else with um, a good set of level springs and um, and struts and and shocks. So yeah, we'll get it up on the hoist and um, I'm going to um, give my dad a hand actually today to uh, do all this installation. So we've got the uh, original uh, strut out and uh, spring, we'll just grab that, where's that, over here, separated those and now we've got the new new strut and, and level spring uh, back together, so we're just about to start put that back into the car. Got a few things apart here, the level control arm is, is loose um, so we could get the, the strut and spring out. So we'll um, feed it back up under here and um, yeah, it should go back together. So you can see here, we've got the front back together. Um, for all people that have done this before, you know, the, the bottom control arm has to come away so that you can uh, get the strut out. Four bolts at the top and, and it all sort of drops away out through this area. You just got to get the sway bar bolt back in when we get it back on the ground. Yeah, not too hard a job when you sort of work out uh, which way everything goes and, and uh, to put it back together again. This is all on a bit of crazy angle, the CV and stuff at the minute, so we've got to get the weight back on the car because we're still on the hoist. So now onto the back. Um, when we bought the car, it already um, had some upgrade springs in the back. I'm not exactly sure um, what brand or, or uh, sort of rating. But the suspension that we've got now, it, it all pairs up with the Lovells front and rear and the ultimate suspension struts. So we'll drop these out, also um, put the new shockers in and the back obviously is a lot easier than the front. But underneath the car, this is the first time we've been underneath here since we bought it and it is a real clean, clean thing. There's uh, not too much, um, you know, dirt and stuff underneath and it all looks real original, except for the nice exhaust that it's got on it. It's pretty good. So here we go. We've got the, the back end finished. Springs and, uh, and shockers in. The, the back's a little bit easier. Still took a little bit to get them in. There's actually a different spring in the levels range from driver's side to passenger side. They're labeled, <coughs> um, but yeah, there's different from each side. So the shockers went in. Not too bad, quite easy. So we'll uh, lower it down now off the hoist and we'll, we'll do some measuring and see what sort of lift we achieved. See there, yeah, we've gained, gained probably quite a lot in the front, at, at least 50, 60 mil. I measured it was 240 and now we're, we're sort of up into the 300 mil from the guard down to the top of the rim. See on the level there, just pitching at the uh, at the back, but it's not too bad. We'll get it wheel aligned and um, and some uh, some bigger profile tyres and and possibly some rims in the next few days, which will make it stand out. It'll be really nice. 